Dr. Brian Scott. We're concluding this week as we look at Matthew 24. This is insight to the end times, and we're looking at how close we are to the end of the age according to the Word of God. Matthew chapter 24, Jesus answers questions asked of him by his disciples. They want to know when will uh, the sign of your coming be and when will the end of the age occur? And his response is uh, multifaceted. There's many verses on it, but I'm, I'm selecting the verses that deal with the fact he said there will be a lot of deception. Uh, he makes this reference in uh, several locations uh, in, in um, praise the Lord, it's, it's powerful. For instance, he says in uh, verse number uh, four, he says, take heed that no one deceive you. In verse five, he says, many are going to come in my name saying I'm the Christ and they will deceive many. In verse 11, he says, uh, if you um, uh, f see false prophets, you're going to, they're gonna come and deceive many. In verse 23 and 24, he says, people are gonna say I'm a Christian or they're saying, here's Christ, there's Christ, don't believe them. He says, false Christ and false prophets are going to arise. They're going to deceive many, even the very elect or the cream of the crop. Bless the Lord. Now, uh, not only did Jesus speak this way, but we have Paul the apostle speaking this way. When you go over to the book of uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter two, in uh, this almost this entire chapter deals with the deception and delusion of the last days. And um, it, it shows that there's so much lawlessness going on because we're on the verge in this chapter. He's about to announce that the Antichrist will be revealed any day now. And he sets out the terms of that. And he says, we already see the spirit of Antichrist operating. It's a spirit of lawlessness. And we see that in our land today. You should be well aware of the fact that we're seeing more violence, more crimes, more stabbings, more shootings than we've ever seen before. And random, uh, here in Ontario, in the city of Toronto, which is a fairly good sized city, uh, crime is getting to be out of control and it's so random, they don't know how to stop it. And people are just walking up to other people and stabbing them. Many of them die, others are severely injured. When the point I'm getting at is this, Paul says, uh, in verse 11 of chapter, uh, Thessalonians chapter two, he says, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. Delusion is deception on steroids. Delusion is to be completely uh, duped, uh, not having a clue what the truth is, not having a clue what's really going on, but believing all this lying and cheating and everything else. So we got to realize these are the days we're living in. What's the biggest sign of the last days just before the rapture of the church? It's going to be the presence of deception. Everywhere, deception. Everywhere, deception. Now let me read a couple of these verses to you and give you some insight. In um, verse five, Jesus says, Many are going to come in my name saying I am the Christ and will deceive many. I read that this way. Many are going to say that I am a Christian and they will deceive many. Here's the interesting thing. The word many are going to come in my name. The word many there in the Greek means a massive multitude. It means enormous numbers, not just one or two people, but many massive multitude of people claiming to be Christians are going to deceive a massive multitude. Are you here? And when it says, will come in my name, they are riding on the back of Jesus Christ's name, his integrity, who he is, what he stands for. Here's the inference. They once stood for this too. They once upheld the righteousness of God. They once upheld the principles of the scriptures. They once upheld moral standards, Christian standards. I could read statistics to you today of Christian leaders in North America who have been questioned on their stand about morality and uh, sexual affairs and infidelity and adultery and fornication. And it would appall you to know that they 
see no wrong in it. They are in favor of it. And, and I'm not talking about just 5%. I'm talking about significant numbers, sometimes as high as 60, 65%. So my point here is many are gonna come masquerading or riding on the back of the name of Jesus Christ to be accepted by those who will listen to them and they're gonna deceive a massive multitude of believers. Many will come, a massive multitude of those who purported to be strong Christians, maybe even strong pastors, strong ministers. Many are gonna come in my name and they're gonna deceive many. They're gonna deceive a massive multitude. Uh, this is not good news. This is not good news because we're waiting for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. Believers, I wrote a book a number of years ago and it's entitled, Once Saved, Always Saved? Mm, maybe not. And in that book, I quote scripture after scripture after scripture after scripture that indicates that you've got to endure to the very end. You can't let down your standards. You can't fall off. You can't allow deception or seduction. What does Paul say in 1 Timothy chapter 4? Now the Holy Spirit expressly states in these last days, many will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. They were in the faith. They've left the faith. They've walked away. This is a massive sign, a huge sign that we should be well aware of. We can see it everywhere. And when we come back on Monday, I'm going to give you illustrations and examples of how this has crept into our churches and maybe even crept into your thinking. And if so, I, I uh, strongly suggest you get that corrected. Look forward to seeing you next week. Call you blessed. Amen.